Hello and welcome to the second part of the XCAM tutorial video. In this part I will show you some basics about object placement and also the things you have to know about the projects. So here we go. And remember the first thing you have to do is switch to the object layer. On the upper left side you see the list of the whole object library with all the different object classes and if you select any class in this list you will see the whole content of this object class in the middle list and if you select any object type in this middle list then the XCAM will create the respective object immediately but before we go on with creating objects, we have to create a project because the XCAM needs that project to save all the objects. So without any project, you are not able to copy the objects or whatever. And here in the lower left side of the screen, you find all the buttons about projects. So there is a button to create a new project, to load a saved project, to save the current project, but also to unload an active project. So for now we need a new project and we press this button and now you can see a little input dialog to enter a name for the new project. Please enter a project name without any special characters or spaces and this list on the left side shows you all already saved projects and this is only a small help for you to find the right project name. It comes up automatically if you want to create a new project and goes away if you hit the OK button. So I will give this project a name and hit the OK button and you find the name of the new project in the top of the lower list here. So now you are ready to create the first objects. If you now select any object type in the middle list then the XCAM will create the respective object immediately and this is really cool because you always know which object type is safe behind any list entry but there is another way to switch between all the different object types. Simply press the arrow key up and arrow key down and as you can see this is really quick. And once an object is selected the camera is automatically attached to this object. So that means if you want to pan the camera by pressing the left mouse button the object will move to the direction you you move your, your mouse. And in this state you are not able to move the camera by pressing the WASD keys. But if you press these keys then you can move the camera to the north to the east, to the south and to the west side of the object. That's also cool, I think. And if you want to undelect this object and detach the camera, then simply press the spacebar. But now the object is deleted and maybe you will wonder now why this happens and that's because this object was not saved. So the object was only temporarily created. So to save an object to your project then there is a simple way. So please select the object type you want to create and now if you want to save this single object then simply press the insert key. <clears throat> and now you see the, the camera is also detached, but now the object is not deleted, but saved. 
and part of your project now. And as you can see in this lower list, here you can find the saved object. And that's the simplest way to, to save objects. Simply select one type, press insert, select another type, press insert and so on. So nothing spectacular. If you want to select any saved object, then you have to to set the focus first to that object. Focus means uh, that you can see the blue bounding box. And in this state you double left click the object. And now the object is selected. And also the camera is again attached to this object. Means now you can move it around and yeah, find a new position for example. If you want to save the new position, you only need to press the spacebar. That means the object is unselected and the camera is detached and the object is saved at the new position. So again, if you select any object from the library list, then you get only a temporary object. That means if you deselect this object again by pressing the spacebar, the object is deleted because it was not saved. And if you select an already saved object and you want to deselect this object also by pressing the spacebar, then the object is not deleted but saved at the new position. So there is a small difference between temporary objects and already saved objects. There is also the possibility, of course, to select the objects by selecting the, the respective list entry here in the project list. And there is a way to scroll up and scroll down within this list by pressing the arrow keys left and right. And this is sometimes really helpful. I deselect this now. And remember the arrow keys up and down switch between the objects within the library list. And left and right, as I said, switch between the saved objects. Spacebar to deselect. Now I will show you how you can copy objects along the bounding box. And this is really a cool feature, as you will see now. So, if you have selected an object, then you see a blue bounding box around the object. But you see also two special elements here, and one element is this triangle. And this triangle looks always to the north, with respect to the object axis. and the the second element is this line and this line shows you the current active copy direction and that means if you now copy this object the next object will be placed in this direction and the default copy distance is always uh, the bounding box to copy an object Simply press the C key on your keyboard, C like copy, and as you can see here, every new object copy is placed in the direction of this blue blue line. So that's really simple. And at this point you have to know that the last object, the selected one, is for the moment temporary only. And if you want to save this object, you have to press insert. Otherwise, if you press spacebar, the object is deleted. To change the copy direction, press Q on your keyboard. And every time you press Q, you change the copy direction to the north, east, south and west. And as you can see here, there is also an additional temporary object to better see what copy direction is selected. So 
and you can see this object only as long as you hold down the Q key. So it means if you release the Q key, the object is deleted. And what you also can see is the blue line is is also changed to the current active copy direction. So if you have found the right direction, start to copy objects. Then if you want to change the direction, press Q, copy, Q, copy, Q, and so on. You see, it's it's very simple. And remember, the last object, the selected object, is temporary for the moment. And if you want to save this temporary object, press Insert. You can also copy objects up and down. And to do that, press and hold down the left shift key and then press Q. Now I can copy up and now I change to a normal copy direction and here I want to copy down and then I have again press and hold down the left shift key press Q and press Q again to switch to this direction and then I can copy down the last object I will save by pressing insert yeah, and that's all normally you start with a temporary object if you want to to copy them objects so for example in this way but you can also of course select any already saved object and start the copy action from this object so copy from from every object that's already saved and no matter which object type you have selected you always create the the right object types for example if I copy this object type it's it's a different object type then you copy this object and if you select this object then you create copies with this object type okay now I think it's time to save this project for the first time and to do that press this button as pro means save the current project and if you hit this button you get an overview of all active projects but for the moment there is only this one and this project is already selected you only have to press the save button okay the project is now saved and there is also a function to unload the current project so to use this press this button the project is already selected press the unload button and you see all the objects are deleted and of course there's a function to load any already saved project so simply press this button and you will get this overview list and here you can see all already saved projects but only these projects you have created on the current map so you are working on for the moment. You can't see any project for example uh, from Altis or whatever. So select the project and hit the load button and you see then the project is loaded and you can start working on with copy some objects and so on.